Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I hope you liked my last tutorial and if you did then I've got another good thing coming for you. So Megascans just launched their collection of trees on Unreal Engine Marketplace. So it's a collection of 22 unique models of a realistic black alder forest and it also contains a foliage master material to control the season and the wind as well. So you can just uh, go to Unreal Engine Marketplace and search for Megascan trees and get this collection for free. So let's go to Unreal Engine 5 and see how it works. So I have downloaded this collection and added this to my project. So after you download this and add it to your project, you can just go to this black order folder and you can just go to geometry. Uh, you'll get these two folders which says Pivot Painter and Simple Wind. In the Pivot Painter, you can get trees with more realistic quality. And in the Simple Wind, you can get trees which will not be as as realistic as the Pivot Painter, but they are really good quality. So you can use them in your games or any other landscape design. So let's see how it works. Um, let's go back to Geometry and uh, we are going to go in the Spirit Point and let's take a tree. So you can just select this and drop it here. And as you can see that this tree looks really nice and realistic. So we're going to take a look at the materials. So you can go to details and select this tree. And you can see that uh, this is using these uh, four materials. So you can open this and this is a bark material. So let's take a close look at the stem. And here you can just uh, change the color, roughness, specularity, normal strength of this bark texture. So if you turn down this bark detail amount. So now you can see that all that detail is gone now. And here you can control the albedo if you want to make it more dark or lighter. So you can increase the saturation. Like this. And you can also change the color. So this is the material for the bark here for the stem and for the rest of this wood texture we have this material here and all the settings are same you can just change the saturation and you can also change the color here and you can turn down the normal strength or the detailing so if I keep the detailing zero then you can see that it's not looking very good now let's increase it to one so it has all these controls here you can use and you can also take a look at the leaf material so let's open this and you can change all these settings and you can also change the seasons here so in the seasons you can turn on the winter so it will lose all the leaves and then your trees will look something like this And uh, there's one more thing you can do, which is very interesting that you can turn on this tint translucency. And you can also change the color of these leaves. So you can go here and let's make them something like this. And you can increase the tint strength. And then your tree will look completely different. So let's delete this and uh, and let's go to foliage editing mode and here you can just select these and then drop them in here now select everything and you can set the density let's change it to 20 or let's change it back to 10 and you can just paint your trees like normal foliage you can increase the brush size and you can paint like this to create a forest maybe the density is too much let's turn it down a little let's take p then we can add trees like this
So that's it and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well. So you can use this collection in your landscape scene or your games free to use and you can check out the links in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.